Good evening. I am speaking tonight as president of Fairfax County Special Education PTA. As we approach the upcoming election, we would like to inform the community that we send a special education candidate questionnaire to all school board candidates. Please visit our website at fairfaxcountysepta.org to view the responses we received. The OCR finding last year put a significant burden on our special education staff and continues to have an impact. As of September's ACSD meeting, FCPS had 500 provisionally licensed teachers in special education classrooms and 262 long-term substitutes. Our staff have loudly voiced the need for salary increases for some time, and so we support the 2% salary increase you are voting on tonight. We additionally ask that you keep in mind the importance of IAs, PHAs, and PHTAs in special education classrooms and ensure that retention and recruitment plans explicitly include them as well. With regards to the legislative priorities you discussed this week, we appreciate the board taking into consideration supporting work at the state level to ensure the implementation of accessible and trauma-informed emergency procedures for all students. FCPS's current procedures, which require students with mobility impairments on the second floor of a building to remain in a designated room until the fire department evacuates them, is an outdated pre-9-11 procedure. We appreciate the work being done currently within FCPS to update this regulation and absolutely support such work at a state level as well. At the state level, we also ask you to consider advocating to remove student attendance as a criteria for school accreditation. We understand the concerns regarding chronic absenteeism. However, tying accreditation to attendance disproportionately impacts our students with the highest support needs. For example, Key Center and Kilmer Center, both public day schools with populations entirely comprised of students with disabilities, have chronic absenteeism rates of close to 50%. Punitive approaches to attendance will not help improve the attendance rates of students dealing with significant medical needs, including students with chronic medical conditions and FCPS homebound students. Thank you.